We will take up. Can you give me the slides? Yes. Vidya is asking, sir, where can I get 650 topics? You download the UMedico app, go to the quiz. Under the quiz, you have got individual subjects. You click on the individual subject, then uh, in the quiz in the UMedico app, you got the list of the high yield topics arranged. You can start playing uh, quizzes on those topics, and the topic list itself is the 650 high yield topic list. Okay, Doc. Now, <coughs> Today we will discuss two topics, rheumatoid arthritis and diabetes mellitus. Now, with regard to the rheumatoid arthritis, what is a true statement? It typically involves symmetrically, not asymmetrically. And it causes pleural effusion with low sugar, not high sugar. And it leads to mononeuritis multiplex. And uh, uh, these are the classical features of rheumatoid arthritis. Enthesopathy, what is the meaning of enthesopathy? At least tendon is there, no? Inflammation of the tendon, when the tendon is attaching to the bone, at the tendinous attachment sites on the bones, if there is an inflammation at the point of attachment, that is called enthesitis. Enthesopathy is a feature of conditions like uh, ankylizing spondylitis is what you need to remember. Then what is meant by mononeuritis multiplex? Uska matlab kya hota hai? Can you give me the board please? So what is mononeuritis um, multiplex? You have a alar nerve, radial nerve, sural nerve, so many nerves are there. Suppose if you have some problem in your brachial plexus or if you have a fracture of your humerus, then only radial nerve get injured. If you are having leprosy, alar nerve alone is involved. But if the patient is presenting with alar nerve, radial nerve, sural nerve, sciatic nerve, multiple nerves ka patis. Neuropathies, if he is showing, then what is the condition that you will be thinking of? You will be thinking of mononeuritis multiplex. Neuritis multiplex. Why Multiple nerves ka involvement. Fundamentally, conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, they lead to vasculitis. Vasculitis ka matlab, bezel ka inflammation. So, this vasculitis in turn will lead to the naru ke naru ko bhi blood supply hona padega usko kya bolte hai vasa nervosum it is called vasa nervosum so this vasa nervosum get involved because of the vasculitis which lead to the constriction narrowing of this uh, vasa nervosum leading to ischemic and hypoxic injury to the nerves and this was vasculitis involves multiple nerves and that is the reason multiple nerve neuropathies are seen because of one single underlying pathology that is vasculitis. This is called mononeuritis multiplex. Mononeuritis multiplex is a feature of rheumatoid arthritis is what I want to underscore to all of you. Now doctor, one of the options given to you is Low glucose in the pleural effusion. This is one list you should bookmark in your uh, 5000 list of uh, lists that you need to remember. There are 5000 lists which are all there in the UMedico app. So they are available. So this is one such list. Low glucose in the pleural effusion. What are all the conditions where you find low glucose in the pleural effusion is the favorite MCQ of the examiner. You are going to remember Murli Bharadwaj when they ask this question. First, malignant effusions may, malignant pleural effusions may, pleural effusion will have low glucose. First condition that should come to your mind. Second, 
esophageal perforation esophageal perforation it also lead to development of the pleural effusion there low glucose then rheumatoid arthritis is a very important entity low glucose in the pleural effusion which you need to remember then empyema empyema whenever the pleural uh, uh, cavity is filled with pus right pus then that is called empyema so empyema also will have low glucose then tb associated pleural effusion also typically has got low glucose that's the reason tomorrow in the ward rounds when you join md general medicine what will your chief ask you tell me what are all the conditions that lead to low glucose in pleural effusion what is your answer malignant pleural effusion esophageal perforation rheumatoid arthritis empyema and tb pleural effusion are the conditions which you should not basically forget now doctor you are a rheumatologist on the phone only you should be in a position to listen to the story of the patient and should be able to make a diagnosis so how will you make a diagnosis uh, listening to the story of a rheumatoid i'm sorry of a arthritis patient first question you will be asking doctor what is the onset is it acute i am now talking about how do you approach a patient in rheumatology who is having arthritis based on the story how are you going to reach the diagnosis very important question in the entrance so examiner will give you a clinical vignette symmetrical hai ya asymmetrical hai large joint hai ya small joint hai dip involved hai ya nahi involved so based on all that story you should reach a conclusion so now i am going to make you expert rheumatologist within another 5 minutes okay first acute acute bolne ke liye what is the duration criteria less than 6 weeks history of arthritis hai to inko kehte hain acute arthritis three conditions should come to your mind when it is acute arthritis what are the three conditions infectious arthritis is acute arthritis crystal arthropathy like gouty arthritis oh doctor pain is there doctor oh my god pain is there doctor the patient comes to you crying 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 in the morning you will find metatarsophalangeal joint the big toe joint the first metatarsophalangeal only swollen very inflamed severe pain you open his mouth and put one tablet within 5 minutes he get a relief what is the tablet ibuprofen so if you happen to put ibuprofen in a gouty arthritis patient will say oh my god i don't know whether god is there or not you are the god such a wonderful relief comes with the ibuprofen in case of the gouty arthritis so crystal arthropathy is also acute in presentation reactive arthritis reactive arthritis patient comes with arthritis acutely he also says oh i am having photophobia i cannot be able to see the light he will say so the patient is having uveitis and he says oh i cannot be able to pee doctor urethritis and he is also having uh, the he can't climb so he is also having arthritis so reactive arthritis clinical presentation also acute less than 6 weeks is what you have to fundamentally remember then when do you call chronic arthritis what is the time duration more than 6 weeks becomes say chronic arthritis so chronic arthritis can be a non inflammatory arthritis like osteoarthritis or it can be inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis similarly fibromyalgia is a condition fibromyalgia how do you recognize 
मल्टीपल टेंडर पॉइंट्स आर देयर डॉक्टर इधर भी पेन है उधर भी पेन है सारे जगह पेन है द पेशेंट विल बी टेलिंग यू मल्टीपल टेंडर पॉइंट्स फाइब्रोमायल्जिया क्रॉनिक इन नेचर तो फर्स्ट इज इट एक्यूट और इज इट क्रॉनिक यू शुड गैच देन द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज हाउ इज द इवोल्यूशन इनका क्लिनिकल इवोल्यूशन कैसे हो गया इज इट क्रॉनिक is it chronic only chronic or is it intermittent aa raha hai ja raha hai sab aa raha hai ja raha hai sab symptoms intermittent or is it migratory arthritis migratory arthritis pehla shoulder mein aa gaya baad mein elbow mein aa gaya baad mein wrist mein aa gaya migratory arthritis that is how the evolution can be so if it is a chronic arthritis Typically, Lyme arthritis, Borrelia burgdorferi, you will think of. If it is a, uh, sorry, if it is a chronic arthritis, it is an osteoarthritis. If it is an intermittent arthritis, chronic is osteoarthritis. Intermittent, aare jare, aare jare, Lyme disease is something that you will remember. Similarly, a gouty arthritis be. लास्ट महीने नहीं आया डॉक्टर साहब ओ लास्ट बिफोर मंथ मुझे पेन हो गया सेम सिमिलर पेन हो गया मैं बहुत थड़प गया पेशेंट विल से सो इवन क्रिस्टल आर्थराइटिस आल्सो प्रेजेंटेशन इज इंटरमीडिएट देन माइग्रेटरी आर्थराइटिस विल मेक यू टू थिंक ऑफ द रोमांटिक फीवर का आर्थराइटिस जो होता है माइग्रेटरी गोनोकोकल आर्थराइटिस इज आल्सो माइग्रेटरी and uh, you should remember viral arthritis is also migratory so evolution gives you a very very important clue about the type of arthritis is what i want to once more underscore to all of you abhi pata chal gaya na acute kya hota hai chronic kya hota hai evolution kya hota hai then once more based upon the extent of the joint involvement arthritis are also divided one is called monoarticular arthritis kali ek joint is involved or is it oligoarticular arthritis or is it a polyarticular arthritis is a very very important definition so polyarticular batane ke liye what is the criteria favorite mcq in entrance exam more than 3 joints 2 to 3 joints what do you call oligoarticular arthritis only one joint is involved what you call it as monoarticular arthritis is what i want to underscore to all of you then so this is all what based on the extent how will you reach a conclusion then distribution of the joint like is it symmetrical or is it asymmetrical this is the most important thing you need to look for then is it involving the axial skeleton axial skeleton kya hota hai doctor appendicular kya hota hata paava jo hota hai appendicular hota hai spine is basically called the axial skeleton is the spine involved axial skeleton involved or not is very very important so if you look at the rheumatoid arthritis sle two conditions like a parrot you have to tell in the tomorrow's exam whenever it is a symmetrical arthritis dono hatha paava dikkat ho raha hai doctor saab dard ho raha hai then think of rheumatoid arthritis sle whereas if it is asymmetrical psoriatic arthritis is asymmetrical then uh, spondyloarthropathy spondylo zero negative spondyloarthropathy is they are called spondyloarthropathy gout they are all asymmetrical एक्सियल स्केल्टन कहा इन्वॉल्व होता है टिपिकली इन केस ऑफ 
एंकलाइजिंग स्पॉन्डलाइटिस में स्पाइन इन्वॉल्व होता ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस आल्सो स्पाइन इन्वॉल्व होता एंड इफ यू टेक द रुमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस देयर इज अ स्मॉल एक्सेप्शन फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एग्जामिनर रुमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस इन्वॉल्व्स अपेंडिकुलर स्केलेटन द ओनली पार्ट ऑफ द स्पाइन व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्वड इज सर्वाइकल स्पाइन सो rheumatoid arthritis selectively involves only the cervical spine cervical spine is what you have to ultimately remember so abhi aap mahagyani ban gaye hain arthritis ke topic mein so let us clinically approach the problem of arthritis doctor quickly when arthritis patient comes to you what are the questions that you will ask first you will ask is it more than 6 weeks or less than 6 weeks first question you will ask accordingly is it acute or is it chronic ek baat pata chal jayega agar wo acute hai to you will think of infectious arthritis crystal arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis barabar more than 6 weeks hai chronic hai then you will look for any signs of inflammation are there or not early morning stiffness or warmth overlying the joint etc etc so if the signs of inflammation are there then you will be thinking of chronic inflammatory arthritis is what you will be thinking then if it is a chronic inflammatory arthritis you will look uh, how many joints are involved it is only one to three joints then it is oligo articular if it is more than three then it is poly articular oligo articular chronic inflammatory type of a arthritis kya hota hai two conditions should come to your mind what they one is psoriatic arthritis psoriatic is inflammatory arthritis it is a chronic inflammatory arthritis but it is oligo articular is what you have to remember then juvenile arthritis rheumatoid arthritis mein ek variant rehta hai doctor juvenile rheumatoid arthritis bolke a juvenile rheumatoid arthritis typically one of the variety is called fossi uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis so fossi juvenile rheumatoid arthritis also is oligo articular now if it is poly articular you need to look whether it is symmetrical or is it asymmetrical asymmetrical so if it is uh, a uh, uh, symmetrical or asymmetrical suppose if it is asymmetrical once more you can think of two conditions one is psoriasis and other is reactive arthritis so you may be asking me a question can you please focus uh, uh, this thing yeah so सर यहां भी सोरियासिस बताए ओलिगो आर्टिकुलर में और पॉली आर्टिकुलर एसिमेट्रिकल में भी सोरियासिस बताए हा हा सोरियासिस हैज मिरियड्स ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशंस सो इट कैन बी ओलिगो आर्टिकुलर और इट कैन इवन बी एसिमेट्रिकल पॉली आर्टिकुलर इज आल्सो अनदर प्रेजेंटेशन व्हिच इज अवेलेबल ओके डॉक नाउ इफ इट इज सिमेट्रिकल इफ इट इज सिमेट्रिकल you look whether what type of joints are involved if it is involving pcp right pcp then uh, uh mcp then mtp is the involvement of this is there or not right if the involvement of pcp or mcp or mtp if it is there then uh, you will be thinking of 
rheumatoid arthritis whereas if the involvement of pcp mcp mtp if it is not there if it is not there then you will be thinking of sle or scleroderma sle or scleroderma so in them there is no involvement of pcp mcp or mtp if it is involved then it is rheumatoid arthritis but otherwise rheumatoid arthritis sle scleroderma sab log kya hai symmetrical polyarticular chronic inflammatory arthritis is a typical way you describe uh, the uh, all this arthritis is what you need to fundamentally remember so before we go to the other limb that is once more aur ek bar dhyan se thinking yourself as a rheumatologist let's talk about it when an arthritis is chronic more than 6 weeks you look for the signs of inflammation if it is if they are there think of chronic inflammatory arthritis if the chronic inflammatory arthritis how many joints are involved if it is oligo articular then you think of psoriatic and fossi articular juvenile arthritis if it is more than 3 you look whether it is symmetrical or asymmetrical if it is a uh, polyarticular involvement asymmetrical you will think of psoriasis and reactive arthritis if it is polyarticular but symmetrical you look whether pcp mcp mtp involvement is there or not if it is there then it is rheumatoid arthritis if it is not there then it is sle and scleroderma is what you have to conclusively remember now doctor there are no signs of inflammation so non inflammatory chronic non inflammatory arthritis is what you have to remember if there are no signs of inflammation is what you need to remember so if it is a chronic non inflammatory arthritis you will look what are the joints which are involved is the dip joint is involved or not distal interphalangeal joint involvement is there or not they clean up then the second important thing is you will also see for whether hip involvement is there knee joint these are all the weight bearing joints are they involved or not they clean up agar if they are involved if dip involvement weight bearing hip weight bearing knee joint involvement is there and it is a chronic non inflammatory arthritis then you will think of what osteoarthritis granny ma ko kya rehta osteoarthritis says what you need to remember then suppose if it is a chronic non inflammatory but the involvement of the dip is not there then what are the conditions that comes to your mind then you should think of two conditions either it is osteonecrosis osteonecrosis or it can be charcot's joint is what you have to remember diabetic individuals syphilitic individuals so charcot's joint osteonecrosis are the think that should come to your mind if it is a chronic non inflammatory without showing dip involvement so that is how you are going to conclude so what are the various questions examiner is going to ask on this simple story doctor a patient is presenting with 3 weeks of arthritis what is the most likely possibility you will think of 3 weeks oh 3 weeks means it is acute acute means only three things what are the three things that come to your mind whenever it is acute it can be infectious arthritis it can be crystal induced arthritis or it can be reactive arthritis comes to your mind patient is presented with more than 6 weeks and signs of inflammation are there and it is being found to be involving only two joints you will think of fossi jai or psoriatic arthritis patient is typically having around 8 weeks of arthritic history and there are signs of inflammation and it is involving symmetrically more than three joints then you will think of possibility of rheumatoid arthritis if the pcp mcp mtp 
are typically involved. Suppose if it is not involved, you will think of scleroderma or SLE. Similarly, another clinical case patient, the examiner will give you in the exam. Nine weeks of history is there. That means it is chronic. Inflammatory signs are there. That means inflammatory arthritis. And the patient is having a polyarticular involvement with about five or six joint involvement. And it is asymmetrical. Then immediately you will think of psoriasis and reactive arthritis. So that is the reason, doctor. ये जो algorithm आपके दिमाग में बैठ गया है तो entire rheumatology is only based on this. Examiner is going to ask you out of 300 questions in need PG, one question on what type of arthritis based on the clinical history you should be very very sure about. So can you give me the board please? I mean the slides. So abhi maza aage. I hope. Uh, uh, <clears throat> most of you understood. Dimaak mein jo bhi tension hai arthritis ke baare mein, wo sab nikal jana. That is what I am hoping from all of you. So, or ego arthritis bole to, you will think of all these conditions which you should not do a mistake. And with regard to the rheumatoid arthritis, small medium sized joints, not the weight bearing joints like in osteoarthritis. Typically, symmetrical inflammation involving wrists and MCP spares the dip. Dip is not involved. Distal interphalangeal joint is not involved. There is a morning stiffness. There is an inactivity, etc., etc. In case of the rheumatoid arthritis is what you have to basically remember. So, that is our story about rheumatoid arthritis and how to diagnose the arthritis.